Hey, hey, it's Zero, and we're going to the other side of the tracks of OU right now. So while we have uh, Team Vial going, you know, you fresh it some giggles on the other side. Um, now we're going to bring out my main team. Now this team I've had stored for a while and really didn't use it much because it was really just something I tested and I didn't think it would get too far, but then once, um... Team Vile got me high enough, I switched over, and it's actually held its own pretty well. So, here we go. Reading with Talonope. Okay, I'm gonna actually not break the team down too much in this battle, because this is one of those battles that, uh, is worth noting. Because this was just a case of so much bullshit. If I remember this correctly, defogging Charizard ain't not the worst thing in the world. I mean, granted, I personally would put defog on something that actually would benefit from, uh, that, that wouldn't get 50%ed by rocks, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Anyway, so, uh, BJ Boy, <laughs> that's a great username. I know this guy's a subscriber now, so, uh, here we go. Here's where it starts. Paralysis just friggin' hates me in this one. Knockoff gets the survive and... Dang it, Dark Link! No Shadow Wall there, and... No Shadow Sneak there. And I decide, okay, I'm just gonna go for Shadow Ball there, thinking he's gonna put more spikes down, and... Nope. Ugh. Not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. So I go to Krillin. I don't know why I went to Krillin, but I went to Krillin. T-waving. This is a team that's really, really defensive, and that's why I enjoy it. And freaking Para again. Ice Fang. Get out of here, Thundee. The Charizard goes down to the rocks. Wrote him in now, and I don't think I played this right. Or did I play this right? I Para again! <laughs> this is the one I didn't play right. I should have earthquaked and I waterfalled, and I don't know why I waterfalled. That was a stupid decision on my end. But find me in the Alps! Girl and Set did prove, um, did prove very helpful in this scenario because it just took so dang long to take him down. But, uh. It's like, oh, you know, great. Yeah, that's, that's just fucking wonderful. And there's another one! Oh my shit! Oh, that's, this is where I need Web Spider. This match is so derpy, and honestly, I was laughing at this, because it got past the point of, uh, so At this point, it's just plain funny. Big Teeny comes in here, and I thought for some reason that resting was going to be a, a good idea, because I felt a crit coming or something, but at didn't prove to be really that big of a difference. So, back over to Rotom. Munchies has basically got this in hand at this point. It's just a matter of when. Victini in next. He's already GG in, and I'm like, yeah, just just wait. Something's gonna crit the living shit out of Munchies and kill it. And I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Because that's the way this match was going, and I didn't even care. I honestly was like, okay, this is just funny. I miscounted sleep talks, because I was just laughing at the crits, and, I mean, not the crits, the, the paras too much at this point. That really, honestly, is my opinion of what to do in these scenarios. You just gotta laugh it off, because this, uh... Uh... There's a crit. There's a crit. It's a good thing I rested there. Otherwise... Shit was just like, it could have went downhill so quickly. Ugh! Munchies, thank you for being so, uh... Defensive. This team is, if you didn't notice, um... This team is built to be defensive as all fuck. Krillin's set is really weird, but Krillin actually, um, 
the Geras, the Mega Geras are pretty bulky in themselves, so I played more towards that than to giving it power and speed, because Dragon Dance, that's what it gets anyway. Sui Sui is my standard. Um, Talon Nope is basically just there to reject Talon Flames. That's its whole purpose. The, uh... The Age of Slash is a weakness policy one, and we got Munchies to be the inverse Suicune, and of course my Specs Latias. And hold on a second, I didn't get enough replays. Dang it, errors, 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 I accidentally cut the video in half, getting the additional replay, but that's okay. Just a little extra work for me. Keeps me on my toes, ha ha ha. Anyway, so, next up. Talon Nope doing his thing. Let's just swap rocks there to start with. I go for Lava Plume there because I like Burning T-Tars. Burning T-Tars is fun. I don't think it works here. 30% my ass. I end up saying that a lot to Lava Plume for not getting them and for Scald always getting them. But anyway, Dark Link in here, and I think I did it again. Unless he's smart and Dragon Danced. Yes, he is smart and Dragon Danced. Then, yeah, I... I don't even know what I was doing in that case. I'm put, I put in Krill in here, it's like, yeah, I just gotta do what I can in this case. This for Crunch, I guess he didn't expect me to be a Mega, or for me to use the Mega, either one. But I'm okay with this. Krillin, take that thing out, please. Thank you. I appreciate that. Scizor in next goes for a bullet punch, and that's not enough, but neither is the waterfall. That's why I love uh, my set, where I won't, like, sell my spread and whatnot. But, uh, that's why I like my Gera. Because my Gera just tears, can just eat hits. That's a pretty fabulous Garchomp, right there. I never noticed that the actual Garchomp was... turned fabulous. I thought it was just the one spot in its, uh... front side that got recolored when it turned shiny, but no, it's the whole Garchomp. It's a pretty fabulous Garchomp. Swee doing what Swee does best here. Rest talking, and... Killing things and being Wally and there's an Excadrill. I don't die to it. I scald it. So I don't like Excadrills. Excadrills don't like me. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just getting this thing out of here before it can really do any damage to me. Lando Hidden Power did a little more than I thought, and I guess that that's either electric or grass, I don't know which. Earth Power that did more than expected. I guess I really just underestimated uh, Landorus' strength, but Munchie is actually not able to one-shot from there. I'm a little surprised. That's all good. Munchies can just rest it up. Earth power all you want, Lando. You're not going to get a defense drop, if that's the added feature I think it is. Because I'm a... yeah, you're Force Orb. So, just get the return. Oh, she takes, makes quick work of that one. Manaphy in here, and, uh, boy. Munchies, help! It's a good return there on the Manaphy. Manaphy goes for, what is it with all these offensive Pokemon carrying Scald anymore? Like, I've seen it on a ton of Manaphys. I've seen it on Choice Kyogres. I don't get it. If you're using a power set, use a power move, not a defensive move. Eh, I digress. Anyway, so I think I was playing safe in case of a, uh... Something. I was playing safe in case of something there. Forget what that something was, in case of a uh, heat wave. But he puts a Deoxys speed in after... Ah, that's a physical Latios. Physical Orb Latios. 
Flo would be proud. Now, it's not Dragon Dance like Flo's would usually be, but Flo would still be proud. So anyway, I see the... I'm like, I, there's no way I can take a lava bloom, so I just get a Shadow Sneak. But he switches the Manectric in, the Manectric, or Manectric, however you say it. Gets a Shadow Sneak crit. That thing's out of the way. I'm quite okay with this. Shadow Sneak actually does a fair amount there to Heatran. I was pretty content with that damage. But Heatran gonna try to Toxic. That's not gonna work. That miss was quite helpful, but I really wasn't that worried about the Heatran in the long run anyway. And that is a mixed Latios. I don't know why it's a mixed Latios, but it's indeed a mixed Latios. So I was going for a burn there, assuming that, you know, hey, this is a physical Latios. I can deal with that. Boom, ends up, it's mixed. So it's like, oh, okay. I figured there would be a T-Bolt. It ends up T-Bolt actually would do more, but, oh boy, here we go. Here's the belly drop zoomy. Is this what I think it is? No, it's not what I think it is. But oh no, I remember what this was. I actually was trying too hard on this one, and this is the one of the ones that I really look back at and laugh at myself, because it's like what was I doing? So I'm playing the smart, right? I'm foddering back and forth and doing some shit, and I lava clean there, trying to get a burn, and it didn't work. I probably should have roared, realistically, for the in-case of... But I'm doing the foddering and foddering, and then I just go, wait a minute. Right here I go, wait a minute, what am I doing? Kill it. So I just gave up, like, my whole team for, like, no good reason. <laughs> it's like, what am I doing? And the guy's like, well, I didn't you do that in the first place after I had already said, well, I'm stupid. It's like, doesn't what I just said imply that I just didn't think of it? Hello? But then he gives me the you think too much, which honestly, in this case, I can't exactly argue. But, uh, yeah, he says you think a little too much, and I kind of did there. I, I can't argue at that point. But Waterfall gets rid of the, uh, Excadrill down to just the Heatran, so that thing would have been done for. But <laughs> I'm glad I got myself out of that. But still, that's that's just one of those derp moments that really is just great to laugh at after the fact. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> anyway. So one more for this episode. And we are battling Clone. I'm expecting... I was not expecting knockoff. I can tell you that. I got a uh, nice name to uh, Talon Nope. <laughs> the other guy thought that uh, it was something as of him. This was a spectator talking. He was like, I was talking about Talon Nope, but alright. And I was like, yeah, I figured. Thanks. But So I just let him... Uh, I just let him drain punch at this point. I don't even care. You can take Talon Nope. Talon Nope's basically useless at this point. Scarm in here. Krillin gonna Dragon Dance, because I was anticipating like an Earthquake or something. I don't really want a Mega, because I I feel like I can use the Intimidate again. And it's like, okay, yeah, I'm not playing around with this. A crit hurt. Well, Scarm's dead one way or another here. I Ice Fang there, I don't know what I was anticipating, I was anticipating something. The other guy was upset, and he had a right to be upset after that, but... There's... Krillin being Krillin again. Earthquake, get out of here. So Chansey in this case, and I think I called that I did, but Chansey's just... Such a damn tank, that it doesn't even matter. Back over to the conch. Munchies can't get a curse off, and I stayed in with Munchies. Why did I stay in with Munchies? I'm really, really not sure what I was thinking here. That return did at least bear damage, so I can't complain too much, but what was I thinking? I don't know. 
Oh, I was thinking La I don't need munchies because Lottie Duck can just tear into everything at this point. Which wasn't exactly inaccurate. Lottie, kill! <laughs> yep, just Psy shocking away at this point, and Lottie Da just has an open shot at pretty much everything and takes full advantage. Chatot in last. Why do people bring Chatot into OU? Chatot is not an OU Pokemon. Get that out of here. Anyway, but yeah, so that's going to wrap up this episode. i got to go do a couple things before I can hit another recording, but that's all good. I'll get it all done. Don't worry about that. Anyway, so thank you all for watching once again, uh, Sid Zero Productions. I'm Zero, Pokemon Showdown, and I'm probably going to mix up the videos on these, so you'll probably see a couple of the ones I've recorded previous to this mixed in here, just for some variety. But anyway, I'll stop talking now, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you later.